Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. The topic for today is a hitch climber pulley and a termination knot. Let's get to it. What we have here is an MRS system and it's a closed system and we're gonna be using a hitch climber pulley. So this is the way that it was meant to be used where you have a, a spliced eye inside your climbing termination end and that connects to the top of the hitch climber pulley and then your climbing system with your friction and a carabiner goes to say the bottom or the middle. So in this situation, this is how it's meant to be. So when you pull, your rope goes up and, it, and it, the termination, it pulls your advances your line. And then when you rest, this is narrow, so it's a good situation where you won't um, bump your friction hitch. Now having a termination on this, if you put a termination knot, what can happen is it can rub against your friction when you rest, it can make your termination slide. The next thing I'll do is I'll set it up using a, uh, another cord and a termination on this end. Here, here's an option that you have. What I have here is a 30 inch cord with a VT. And you could probably use other knots, maybe like a canoe or uh, another one that you can use with a longer cord. So as you can see, I've tied the termination here and I'm connected to the hitch climber. Now you could see that this termination is not gonna get to this long cord. And I advance and I reset. There's no fear of this not touching this friction when I rest and to pull me down. So that's one option, having a longer cord and a hitch that's above your termination. The next thing I'll show is when I first tied it, I was using a shorter cord, a 24 inch, and a Mitchell Con, which is a shorter knot. So I'll show you what it would look like with that. Here what I have is a 24 inch cord and I'll use a Mitchell Con um, hitch. So I'll get that set up. Now the legs are a lot shorter, so what it'll do is it'll bring it really closer to the hitch climber pulley and the termination on the other line. So set it up. Now what I would do is get this one, the termination with the carabiner with the termination knot and connect it to the top. So now you can see that it's a lot closer and if, if I'm climbing, I could probably, when I set, it could probably hit my line, my hitch, and I could, I could probably run. So that, that's a situation that's, that's pretty scary. Now what you can do is on the older hitch climbers, they have these different beckets and they have this one that's a little further away. Now sometimes that's just enough, depending on whatever uh, termination you use to connect to there, it could bring your termination enough far enough away where it won't be a problem. So what I'll do now is I'll get together and I'll climb up into the tree and I'll use it um, with the short legs and on the outer becket. Now that I've um, tied the hitches and the termination, I've connected it to myself. Now with a system like this, if you have a longer um, bridge, it's better because when you do a pull, it'll tend your line on the way up. So what I'll do in, in an MRS system, you definitely are gonna body thrust. So what I'm gonna do is I'll body thrust up. Here we go. So, here we go. So you could see that it brought it away from the hitch. Now there, there's still a chance that it could um, rub it, but actually it is kind of on it, but it's not gonna be above it and dropping it down. That little space really helped out a lot. Now, if I was just on that top one, there's more of a chance of it capturing this and then dropping you. So let me go all the way up and then we'll walk around a little and see how that goes. So on every pool, you can see it's staying away. Now that I reach the top, I'm gonna to go over to the branch, another branch, and then I'm gonna bring this system closer to me the way I like to climb. I just use this because it advances my line, but when I'm in the tree, I really like it closer to me. 
you can see that it's still not above the hitch so it's having it on the outer beck it's working fairly well all right so now i'll rest on it you can see the hitch is still above the termination now what i'm going to do is connect my lanyard so i don't fall snug myself up i'm going to disconnect my climbing system from a long bridge and now i'm going to bring it to my short bridge Okay, connect it to my belt on my short bridge. I'm gonna rest back. It's still working. This termination's not above this, and it doesn't appear to me that I'm gonna be in any worry of sliding. So now I'll take a step back, pull on this. When I disconnect, it's still above it, and I'm definitely not worried that this termination will um, be above this and when I rest it I'll just shoot down I'm okay with it um, if you're gonna climb this way you got to be careful make sure that situation with a long, uh, shorter cord and if you have a hitch climber the older version I hear the new eccentric is more straight and it doesn't really give you that little bit of a distance but I feel comfortable climbing this way and uh, yeah it's a better situation than if it were gonna be above that so let's go back down to the ground. There we go. See that? Good. Good situation. Just pull my line. It's not in my way in any way. I really feel comfortable. I'm not worried about falling. Stop. Pull my line. Dropping. Yeah, no, no worries about that termination hitting my friction and making me fall. So here we go down to the ground. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. With this system using an MRS in a hitch climber uh, pulley with a terminations, it's something that I've used for many years. And the way I did get around it is instead of connecting to the top, you connect to the, the middle becket, which is further away. And then you really want to pay attention. Usually I have a 24 inch cord, so it, it really brings my hitch low. But I do feel safe that it's not going to hit this climbing hitch and, and make me run. Now this is a, a pretty good situation. The longer the cord, the less chances of you having a problem. So if you're using, let's say like a, a 30 inch cord, um, it's definitely going to bring the, your climbing hitch probably somewhere up here. And you'll be highly unlikely to um, have that connect to your hitch your climbing hitch to bring you down So anyways, that's this is a system that I like and using it in this way as I said This is how I use a hitch climber pulley using a termination knot on my termination end If you guys have different ways that you've dealt with this in climbing, please share it with me I really like to hear it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video comment like and subscribe Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.